Hello people, hope you're all well and good. I'm really excited today because it's a lovely sunny day and I'm out what I like doing best, which is walking outdoors. I'm to try and inspire you guys to get out and get active and get fit and healthy. I try and take you to interesting, inspiring places that will catch your imagination. So let's get started. So where this walk starts is opposite the Wagon and Horses pub. Then we're going to head up Gallows Clough Road, where we've been before on a previous walk. But we're going to branch off and go a different way from where we went before. And I'll tell you where we're going in a minute. So last time I came up here, we went up this path here, which led us on to Gallows Clough, Wild Bank Hill. But today we're going to go this way, which will take us somewhere different. So a while ago on one of the videos, I took you up what was known locally as the Roman Road, but in fact probably isn't a Roman Road, it's just a very old road. So I was looking around the area, there is supposed to be a Roman Road, and looking around the area, I couldn't find it in modern maps, but then I looked at an old map from 1905, and on that old map it's got the Roman Road clearly marked. So I overlaid that over a modern map and I reckon I can still get here. So what I'm going to take you on guys today is the actual Roman road in the area. So I'm excited to do that. So let's get going. I'm trying to film this today. So if any of you guys want to come up here, you'll know the way to come. So first off, as you come down this path, which is split down, you'll go past the farm. So here's the farm buildings here. So this guys is what I've been looking for. This is the Roman road of Staley Bridge. Bit of research and I've eventually found it. But yeah, cool. I'm actually walking on the Roman road now. Very good indicator is the width of this. It's got to be wide enough for the Romans to march in columns a few men across so that's a very good sign it's obviously going to narrow and stuff at points because you know the actual full roman road uh it's not kept its width over the years in every place because it's been overgrown and not kept but what's cool about this one is that a lot of roman roads in this country they're built under modern roadways so you don't see them it's only occasionally when they're dug up that you do see traces of the original Roman roads but what's cool about this one is that it's in its sort of natural surroundings uh, it's never been built over by modern roads it's just at the foot of this hill which they've probably built it along a flat part of the hill so up there you can see the hill that's the wild bank hill I went once on a video so this section of Roman road that we're on now this would have been the section that was going from Castleshaw Roman Fort up near Delft Diggleway. It was from that fort going up to Melandra Roman Fort near Glossop. And they say um, the Roman forts were typically a day's march apart. So like the troops at Castleshaw Fort could march to Melandra within a day. And it is that kind of distance, I guess. As you can see it's still quite wide at this point if not rather muddy but yeah I'm impressed with it so a good imagination definitely helps when exploring these places if we think back to ancient times we've got a column of Roman soldiers marching from Castleshaw Fort going to Melandra the sun gleaming off the helmets the spears held aloft what I do like about it here it's like very muddy and so obviously not been messed with it's uh, not been restored or anything so i think it's an ideal candidate for uh, archaeologists to have a look at it common misconception about roman roads is that they were always straight it's just not true that it's logical the romans were logical if they were building a road and they came to a massive pile of rocks somewhere they're going to move it around those rocks rather than spend all the time and effort moving the rocks just to make it straight they did prefer to make them straight but obviously they'd use the heads if they had to uh, go round objects or obstacles they would do following this track on i mean what you've got to imagine is 
without all these hedges and all this muddy overgrowth um, it would have been quite wide and uh, obviously it would have been surfaced and looked different it's just overgrown with layers of mud and earth over the thousands of years but it's just cool that it's still here and I'm so glad I found it so quite a, a flooded section of this Roman road now it's draining off down here so this Roman road would have been much better drained in Roman times on Roman roads at the side they had like two little ditches for all the water to channel down so it would have been much better drained so here we're carrying on again to a nice dry section so in ancient times there would have been a Roman road coming up from Manchester Roman Fort too and I guess it would have met this road somewhere so they could branch off to Castle Shore or to Malandra near Glossop um, in the ancient times these would have been like quite bold distinctive lines cut into the mo mainly barren landscape so I just wonder if the name Ashton under line was Ashton under the line in the landscape which was a Roman road who knows interestingly on this section of this Roman road we've got this modern drainage system putting it the side and you can see how nice and dry the road is here well this ditch system here this modern one it's actually got water flowing down it now because of all the recent rain there would have been another one on the other side in Roman times so it's well drained now but in Roman times it would have been even better because they would have had two of these ditches one on each side Roman road carries on down there towards Castle Shore. We're at a high point of this walk now. And what a beautiful, beautiful view. And we're lucky we've got a bright day now in October, but what a beautiful view and place. And it's probably a view that's not changed that much since ancient times. I do advise you to get out into the open, get out into fresh air for a dry day. It's great for you physically to be active and it's fantastic for your mind. If you ever have anxiety or depression, getting out and walking, especially in nice relaxing places is one of the very best things for you. Let's have a quick look at these horses here really nice environment for these horses all these fields and hills yeah, it's a good place for horses up here I reckon Ooh. got a visitor here is this a farm cat hello Ch -ch 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 -ch. hello Ch -ch 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 -ch. hello mate curious but a bit cautious Having a nosy. <laughs> Had a sniff and scarpered. I've seen quite a lot of these. Well, I've seen at least another one of these boulders by the side here. I'm just wondering if these are really old and something to do with linking miles off. Or well, Roman miles were a bit short than ours. Yeah, the other one was probably what might be a Roman mile away. I don't know if they did this, the Romans, but an interesting thought. Right, the Roman road now will take us down to Walkerwood Reservoir Way and it would have continued on the other side towards um, Castle Shore, under where Buckton Castle is, and past there. So I've got a pack of ready salted crisps in my backpack and a flask of coffee. I'm gonna have them and then I'm gonna head off back into civilization. So guys, really enjoyed today's walk. It was a lovely bright day and I was exploring an ancient Roman road which I've never been on before and I was just fascinated. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.